So how many of you guys are just tired of not making money over trading? I wanna use one of our students, Jasmine, as an example. Uh, she absolutely killed it. She had an over a thousand dollar day. She's under the PDT rule. She can only day trade three times within a five business day period. And sometimes in a weekly basis, she doesn't even use all of those day trades. I thought I would use her story to really inspire you guys instead of always just talking about myself. Uh, and let's go ahead and get right to it. So I traded SQQQ today very quickly, uh, $30,000 on the day. I traded with a lot more money. I'm not under the PDT rule. And again, I, I sometimes trade pretty aggressively. We talked about SQQQ during today's live trading session. SQQQ, uh, which is the inverse ETF, it goes up when the NASDAQ market goes down. And it's inverse uh, or the bull ETF is TQQQ. This one goes up when the market goes up. So there's always you know, potential to make money depending on market direction. And with that being said, as long as you can determine a clear sense of direction, then you can make money. During today's live trading session, I trade live every morning with my Learn Time Profit Group. We talked about SQQQ. Jasmine went in. And again, I want to use her as an example. She has 525 shares. I think that is like right under $20,000. She made $1,200, almost $1,300. I mean, a 7% day. That's pretty insane, right? And the great thing about this is that she got in yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, and she averaged into her position today. What that means is she bought a little bit yesterday because she thought that the market had potential to pull on back. And she added more to it today because she got confirmation that the market was selling off. So that means SQQQ begins to rise. Now, she didn't waste or use any day trades. If you think about it, she bought some yesterday. She bought more today because direction was in her favor. And then she added when direction was fully in her favor, just like we did, right? Just like I did. That's exactly what we always try to preach is that any time that you are unsure of market direction, either don't trade at all or take a very small position size to test the waters. And then if you get confirmation that it goes in your favor, then you can step on the gas. And that's exactly what we did today. I had 30K gain, she had 1300, but it's all perspective, right? And it's all comes with experience. We all trade with a different dollar amount, but it's about the habits that we implement on a daily basis that really sets us apart. And the thing that I really like about Jasmine is when I began to ask, she tries to limit the amount of day trades that she takes to the point where she might take one or two day trades within the week. She really focuses on the less is more approach or the less is more mindset. And what that means is focusing on bigger plays instead of the smaller ones. How many times have you entered a day trade and then you just regret it right away because direction's not clear, market's choppy, or you end up getting stopped out right away if you're good with risk management. With these larger plays, right, waiting for bigger plays, it just means that you have to be more selective. And the great thing about that is that, again, I mean, I wanted to talk about two main incentives. First off, by waiting for larger plays, you don't always have to feel like you're on the hunt for the next big scalp right? You don't always have to feel like you're spending eight hours in front of your computer waiting for the next big play. What I try to preach within my Learn Plan Profit group is that less is more. And keeping things simple is a great approach to have in the stock market. Limiting your watch list, step one. Instead of having 15, 20, 30 different stocks or always having to scan for stocks and be on the hunt for the next big runner, keep your watch list small, especially if you're an absolute beginner, keep it to less than five. Limit your watch list so you can be micro-focused on what you actually see value. How do you identify a big play? A question that you're probably gonna have. Well, again, these are inverse ETFs of one another. So the NASDAQ market has been on a consistent rally. We've been talking about this every day on my YouTube channel. We knew that the market was overbought and due for a pullback. So what happens if something's due for a pullback? It begins to indicate signs of a resistance. How can you prepare to make money if the market's about to pull on back? You can trade the inverse ETF or you can short the market, right? And we decided to go in with the inverse ETF. This one goes up when the market goes down. We took a light position yesterday, stepped on the gas today, and we absolutely killed it. And again, it's waiting for those big plays or not being afraid to take a small position, a fraction, maybe five or 10%, just to have some skin in the game. And then when you have confirmation, then you step on the gas. And guess what? At worst case scenario, if the market continued to rally today, we were only in with five or 10%, we could easily cut losses. How many times do you guys struggle to cut losses because you're fully invested and you're like, oh no, you know, the market's selling off, I'm fully invested, I lost more than I can tolerate. 
This is why position size and being selective is so, so important. So while most beginner traders are always scanning for stocks, always trying to look for the next big runner, I have nothing against that, but sometimes it can just get very overwhelming because you don't know exactly what you're looking for. Keeping a small watch list, making sure that you stay selective with when it is that you choose to take action, and most importantly, being and waiting for those bigger plays. At that point, it becomes less of day trading and more of actually swing trading. So instead of buying and selling a stock within the same day, you might hold that stock for two to three days. It doesn't waste any of your day trades. It's within the PDT rule. Larger plays mean potentially more money. It gives you time to plan out your trade. You set alerts and you make less impulsive decisions. I think those are all positive takeaways. It really keeps your trading a little bit more simple and also hopefully it gives you a little bit more time to plan out each trade both for best case scenario and worst case scenario. As long as your risk to reward ratios make sense, as long as you're being selective and holding yourself accountable, then I think that's what matters most. And again, I mean, I talk about what I do every day. I thought that I would speak or talk about one of our students uh, that's doing things on a much smaller scale, but still the same concept of trying to be as selective as they can during a choppy market. And you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think. So um, I really do appreciate you guys' time. Um, if you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, shoot me a direct message via Discord. And again, that's that first link down below. For only reminder, we are hosting one of our biggest discounts. So if you wanna join and be able to watch me trade live every day, I would encourage you to take two minutes, click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about my Learn Plan Profit Group and see if it's a good fit for you. It's $100 off, one of our biggest sales that we offer. And again, if you wanna work with me on a closer basis, that is the only thing that I offer to be able to do so and watch me trade live every single day. Also, if you're in the Arizona area this week, this upcoming week, we're going to be hosting different events every single day at our HQ. So even if you know you are or maybe are not a member of LPP, I wanna invite you even so you can get a tour. I'm gonna to be there, my team's gonna be there. We're gonna be throwing a pizza party on Thursday. If you want to join us, shoot me a direct message also via Discord and I'd love to have you there. And again, the HQ is located in Chandler, Arizona, right off of Arizona Avenue. And it's 7,000 square feet, 15 offices, and it'd be a blast to have you and actually meet you in person. I really do appreciate you guys' time. Hope that I earned a thumbs up. Hope you all have an amazing weekend. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.